In parallelogram ABCD, diagonals AC and BD intersect at E. Which statement proves ABCD is a rectangle? So let's draw out the situation. Um, it says it's a, paral a parallelogram ABCD, um, but uh, I'm going to draw it in such a way where it looks like what it's supposed to be, which is a rectangle. And whenever you're drawing these quadrilaterals or any kind of like geometry, uh, if they tell you what the labeling is, you are always drawing it either in a clockwise orientation or a counterclockwise orientation. And it really doesn't um, change the outcome of the situation. Because if you look at this, right, it says AC and BD intersect at E. Let's see here, AC and BD those are the indeed the diagonals, they intersect at E. AC and BD, they intersect at E. It doesn't change the situation at all if you draw it in a clockwise or counterclockwise orientation if they don't specify. All right, which statement proves that ABCD is a rectangle? Well, a parallelogram, so if a parallelogram As any of the following, uh, if any one of the following is true, then the parallelogram is a rectangle, okay? If a parallelogram has any one of the following, then it's a rectangle. So which, what, what, which one, what am I referring to exactly here? I'm referring to uh, if there is at least one right angle and or diagonals are congruent. So which is it here? So looking at this, AC and BD are congruent. That's the first one, right? AB perpendicular to BD. No, nope. AB is a side, BD is a diagonal. They don't, they can't be perpendicular. AC perpendicular to BD. Uh, the diagonals don't have to be perpendicular. As a matter of fact, the di if the diagonals were perpendicular bisectors of one another, then then the shape would, would not be a uh, rectangle, it would be a rhombus. And in option four, AC bisects angle BCD. Uh, that is also indicative of um, the quadru quadrilateral being a rhombus as well. That's one of the properties that the diagonals bisect all the angles. So anyway, it's only option one.